using the GoodNotes 5 app, the new uh, digital planner that I created, and I have already uploaded it. This is what it looks like when it's blank. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Uh, so, like, if we were on the front page, let me go over here. Okay, the front page comes in, and it's like this. Um, the sticker in the front here is so that you can, um, this, this one right here, so you can actually write your name if you wanted to, or, you know, whatever you want to put there. If you might not want your name, you might want, you know, what it is. You might want just to write down, um, whatever, I don't know, whatever, uh, whatever it is that you think would go there. <laughs> Um, on mine, I actually did put my name in there, and then I stuck a pen, and I stuck a little patch of my dog, um, that I drew and made into a patch, and so those are those things. Um, then, uh, from there, you can flip to the second page, and this is the page where you usually write, you know, this is my book, blah, 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 blah. And so, over here, I actually did that. I put a, um, a fun, um, let me turn this on when you see it. I put a label that I made, uh, from the internet. And then I just added some information, and I added a picture over here. So, I mean, you can add what you want in there, but that's what I did. I, I, I enjoyed doing that. It was fun. Okay, and then from there, the next page over is going to be your index page. And it actually links to everything. So, if I turn this pen off where it's not in the way, I can click on cover and go to cover. Or I can go over here and click on this This uh, spine. Always takes you back to this index page. doesn't matter where you are in the book. You can always click on the spine and go back here. So, that's one thing that I like to do. Um... From here, you can go to the year at, glan at, a gla at a glance. This is a lot of words. And I went ahead and put 2019 in here, but you can also turn and get to 2020. So, whichever one you, you know, if, if you start with it now, obviously, you're going to start right along in here. Um, but you could also uh, use it, you know, for the rest of the year on into next year. Okay. So, this is this page. Um, we've got the cover, the year to glance. Each of the months is in a row here. There are also the same things that are linked on these tabs. So, if you are, you know, in an odd place and you need, just need to go, you don't know where you want to go, you can go back to the index. If you knew you wanted to go to the specific month of August, you could just click August directly. Um, but I went ahead and included them anyway. Um, um, so in each month you have, I'm going to click on January. So this is the tab for the month of January. And then you have the month of February and March and April and like, and so on and so forth. Okay. On each month, then you have these other links. And so if we're in, say this is in September, we scroll to the right. There's going to be the actual month page. So you can actually write your, um, um, the month here, and then you could make this your to-do, I'm like writing sideways, so this could be your to-do list, this could be your bills list, um, it could be just about anything. Let me just clear that real quick. Um, and you've got plenty of blanks where if you wanted to do a Monday start, or you could also make this a Sunday start. Um, however you want to do it, uh, whatever is more comfortable to you. And so you can actually adjust that. Um, I have, let me go to August, let me close that. Oops, I still clicked the wrong one. Okay, so for my August in, in my planner, I, actually for like every month, I went in and, and like added a text, you know, thing and I typed up this, uh, you know, the month here on every single layer, on every single tab, because I was testing the links and it makes it a lot easier to find what you're looking for. So from here, I took um, the kit that will be our August kit for the store. 
that I, I don't have, we don't have uploaded just yet because it's not August yet. But anyway, um, it's going to be called uh, Friendship Blooms, and this is a lot of the, some of the elements from it. Um, I used it to decorate the whole page with, and then I just um, added a, uh, a photo here. Like you click on this, and then you can double click and you go insert from, and then go to where the, the photo is. And in this case, it was in my folder. And so I would go here and click on the image. And then it would actually put it on this page. Um, so that's what my August looks like. Um, then, and also you can do from, from this front tab here. If I didn't need to look at the month exactly, like I know I'm going to August, but I need to go in and, and click on the tracker real quick. And I can go in and make, an, you know notes on my tracker or you know put check marks or whatever delete them or you know whatever so there's that option from that um, screen from this screen here and also when you're on this this august page if you just wanted to go to the tracker you can click there and it'll take you to the tracker if you want to go to your daily um your dailies or your weekly pages there's also at this little set of, set of links up here at the top that's where those are at um, also because you will know that if you click the tab it's going to take you back here so from here um, so I'm in August if I decide I wanted to use the uh, vertical layouts it's just a straight a bunch of vertical lines um, you can go in and add like a Monday start or a Sunday start and then you've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then this one is, could be for notes or, you know, whatever, whatever you want to put there. Um, so that's that, the, the vertical layout. And there's, you know, like six pages worth so that you can uh, work your way through the whole month. Then if you didn't like the vertical layout, you also have a choice of the horizontal layout, which is a lot like the horizontal um, uh, happy planners. So, I mean, you have a choice. You can, you know, put all your information in here and then you can put just like, you know, a big photo or little trackers. Um, you have those choices. You have a choice over here for notes or just an image, just, you know, whatever makes you happy. Um, and of course, you know, like I said, there's six of those as well. Then there are the uh, box daily planners. And I guess I wanted to show you the plain one. This is what it actually comes like. And so you can fill in your boxes like you want. You can start with the calendar here and then fill in your days. Or you can, um, so like, you know, this would be your calendar. And then, you know, you have your days in each of these boxes. Or you could have done, um, you'll just have to excuse the, the snorting dog over here. He's so silly. Um, you can also add, um, you could have rearranged them and started on a Monday, Tuesday, or started on Sunday and then had this box, the, the last box be your calendar or just your notes or your to-do list or whatever. So that's an option there. And then... Um, over here, of course, after the dailies here that, that we were just looking at, you also have, I mean, the weekly, sorry. After that, you also have a choice of daily, and the daily pages are just blank. And there's, there's only like five, but you can duplicate them, obviously, um, and put more that, that you need on there. Um, it comes with, like I said, uh, January tab. February, you know, all the way through to December. And, and then, like I said, each one of those contains the month spread, the tracker spread, the vertical boxes, the horizontal boxes, the blocks, and the daily pages. Like, so each month has all of those in it. Okay. So you have those options. And like I said, you can always hit this index bar over here to go back to the index or the spiral whatever um okay and then along this journal also includes the, the paper tab obviously goes to all the various paper types so you have blank paper 
you have a dot grid, which is very faint, but that's kind of what I wanted it to be. You have a page of dotted lines to write notes on. You have the 4x4 four four grid. Um, you have a cardstock, which kind of has a light cardstock texture to it. You have the chipboard, which is not only very chipboard looking, but it also has like the edge of the chipboard around it. You have a cork board for those of you who want to put your little pins and your items all pinned to the cork board. You have that option. Then you have the blackboard, which is just right on with white ink. It looks awesome. And then you have just a, a fabric up close. Then you have the glitter, which is so fun. If you were doing like a birthday spread or something, that'd be fun. Then you have linen, which is just really pretty fabric. And you have a wooden page. You have a page of sand. It looks like sandpaper, sort of. You have the old grid, which is um, like an old school type grid. And you have an old lined paper. You have what I call signboard, which is what I used for the tab dividers. But you, it looks really neat with uh, blocky stuff on it. Then you have the regular chalkboard, which is green. Then you have the plain black paper instead of the plain white paper. Then you have a watercolor paper, which is really pretty and which would be really nice to put art on. You also have the crumbled up paper. And then you have these blank tabs. There are four of them down here, which are all... Um, um, these four right here they're all empty um, so that you can decorate the paper on them for whatever purposes you want to come up with so it could be a layout it could be a new paper it could be something different whatever you want to put on it okay and then the next uh, tab that we have is going to be the sticker tab and it's just a place for you to plop down all your stickers of, you know, things that you use a lot. Um, it can just be whatever you want to put there. That's your choice. The easiest way is to go through the photos or to open a second window and just drag and drop them over. But it's your choice. Um, the next tab that we have is the bills tab. And you have a place for your date and the bill name, the amount, and some notes over here. I'm also going to add... Um, Possibly, like, on one of my um, blank papers, I think I'm going to come up with something for, like, an expense tracker. Because I can see now that that's going to be something I'm going to need to do. Um, also, you have a page for medical information. And, you know, any of these pages you can duplicate. You know, all you have to do is go up here and hit this button right here. And it will pop up and ask you, you know, what do you want to duplicate? And you're going to say... I want to use this current template right here because I need a whole extra sheet of those medical things. So then that gives me two sheets of those. Okay. Um, then you also have the addresses and phone numbers. And you, like I said, you're probably going to want to duplicate this page a lot because if you're like me, you have a lot of addresses and phone numbers for people. Um, the next one is the web accounts, which is uh, you can do web account information and or password information any notes about that website or whatever you need to keep up with for it all in one place. It's, which is like the most handy feature of my entire journal, I swear. Other than the medical information, which my husband takes a lot of medication. So we list all of that on one page and then I just print it out for the doctor when we go. So that's very handy. Um, the lists are a place for you to make lists of some kind. Um, it can be, you know, list of things you want to do, list of things you've already done list of things you need to buy at the store, whatever you need to list, make lists of, you can put there. Okay, then you have a collections tab, which is a place that you can put collections of things like movies that you've watched, books that you've read. Um, it could be, like in my case, I had one that was music that I bought and downloaded a copy of because I liked it and I want to have it as a permanent copy. So, um, you have those options. And then you have a notes tab, which is the same thing. It's just a little bit different, got a different title, but it's just a place for you to take notes, make lists of things, make, you know, 
could be your cleaning schedule. It could be your school schedule. It could be your pay schedule. It could be anything you want to keep track of on this section. Okay, then I added a um, two tabs here on the end that are empty. Um, they do not have anything wrote on them because I want you to be able to put in whatever you want to put in there. Okay, so over here on my planner, and I didn't do it on all the pages yet, so let me go to, oops, I didn't want to go there. I wanted to shut that off. Okay, so on the, on my actual month pages, I, I, or my uh, month tabs, I'm sorry, I actually have already added um, the two things for what I'm going to put on those pages. So, okay, I linked this one. <laughs> I linked this one to, uh, I decided this was going to be my photos tab. So what I did on the photos tab is I typed photos and of course I also typed in some of the little emoji things on the iPad because I just thought they looked really freaking cool. And so then when you turn the page from the photos, I added this paper in. This paper is actually black paper with a white border around it, which I love because it ended up looking like a old vintage photo album, which is why I was like, oh, that would be great for that. So I added this page. And then, and, and as you can see here on my page, I actually, I've stuck a couple pictures on there. I had some text on there. I had it nice and neat, like going around the photo, and I don't really understand what I did there or what I didn't do, but anyway, it has moved. Um, and then I added like a few PNG items to it just to dress it up some. And, I, you know, and you could also go like way more out if you wanted to. Um, but there's another paper that I added in here that you can also use, which has six photo frames on it for you to just um, crop your photo down and just um, make it fit in in this square which is pretty easy because I made them square and so that just makes it really simple so with that in mind it makes it really, really easy to fill in the photos and just go back and write in them and, and decorate your, your scrapbook paper however you want to do it so those papers are actually found like way at the back here where all the extra papers are at so here is this this um photo album page with nothing on it and then frank shh. here is the one with the six photo places on it and it's blank as well um okay so those are those two tabs that's what i have those linked to in my planner now on the planner when you buy it it won't have anything on those pages so you will go to this particular tab and decide what you want it to be and if you scroll over you're going to go to the next tab but what you're going to do is you're going to go in and pick out what kind of paper you want to be behind that so if i decide i'm going to use that tab for um all my you know watercolor drawings i might go in here and choose this well, not this paper, but one of these other papers, because that may be what I need to, maybe that's what I want to call, the, or there's a black signboard paper. Um, like, whatever I decide I want to put behind this tab, that's what I will copy to put behind here. And the same thing with this tab. Um, okay, then there are other things that are in here as well that are not linked. I mean, some of these are just back here at the back if you want to use them go ahead if you don't then don't um those four blank papers that you saw that was uh the 362 uh 363 three, yeah this one this one this one and this one those were all blank because those were linked to uh from this paper tab here that's where these right here link to is those those empty pages so that you can put your own belong your own things on them um also uh, when we get back here to those, we found, too, that there is the um, the black signboard. Then there is just this blue polka dotted thing. You could either use this as a background for a scrapbook paper. You could use it um, as a tab divider to, you know, to switch up here with some of these if you wanted to. Um, there's also one in red. And there's one in yellow, and they all match these tabs down the side and the top there, of course. Um, then, of course, like I said, there's the photo one and the other photo one. And then there's the back inside cover, which actually has all of my links to um, 
all of my different places you can find me at. So if you have any questions or concerns or whatever, you can click on those and follow me or learn stuff or whatever. Um, and then, of course, if you the very back page is the closed up binder facing the other direction because it's closed. Um, so that's that option. Then you have... Um, I wanted to show you one quick thing about... Come on, Frank. Frank is a pug. He's over here torturing me at the moment. I wanted to show you a quick thing about naming or um, decorating your tabs, those two tabs, to have your own information on those. So what I, what I did on this case is I went to those, and there's so many different ways you can get to these things, y'all. Just however you want to do it, whatever makes it easier for you. I'm just going to go somewhere random. Okay, so from up here, I decided that um, this was going to be the layout that I'm going to choose to use. And I want these same layouts to be behind this yellow tab. Okay, I don't know why I didn't turn that off. Anyway, so I'm going to go to the yellow tab, but I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to make this my... Um, my doodle journal for instance okay so i'm going to literally go in here and uh find the text tool i'm going to go here and type doodle because that's what i want to put on this page and then i can line it up okay and so then i can um just you know leave it there or whatever okay so then i can actually take this um, frank this uh what is this called the lasso tool and i can make sure that i'm only grabbing uh text boxes and so then i can click here and i can grab this and i can say copy and then i can go to any of the other tabs and and then I can hold and paste and then that way I can make sure that I put it on all of the the ones that way I'll know that that's what goes there so I'll know that when I click on this I'm going to the doodles section and so here I like to do this paste and then make it big just so I can see quickly that I'm on the right page okay then, okay, now I'm going to go choose what paper I want to use for this. So with that, I'm going to go to papers. Um, let's see, let's go with, I want my doodles all pasted onto crumbled paper. That's what I'm going to choose. So what I, what I do then is, is I go here and I choose this, and I put this information on here first before I do anything else, because I want this tab to be labeled on all my papers that I'm going to use. Okay, so this is the quick and easy way to do it. Um, of course, ideally I would have already named both of those so that I wouldn't have to go back. So, I'm going to, from here, I'm going to click on the uh, squares button with everything on it. Then I see right here that, that my doodle paper is this 361. So I will go from here and I will choose select and then I will choose the doodle paper and right here at the top say copy. Okay, once that page is copied, I can click done and close. Okay, now I can go to my doodle page and when this time when I click the plus button, it's going to give me the choice to click paste page. And so I'm going to do that instead of just doing it the other way. That way, behind my doodles tab, which is right here, is going to be the paper that I want. And do you notice that it already has that tab labeled for me because I stuck it on there and I copied the whole page and pasted it. So, um, once you figure out what you're going to want on your two tabs there, my best advice would be to go ahead and open it up and go from the very front of the book and um, paste it in from here because that way oops I don't know what I just did whoops 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 
That way you can go in and um, just add it to each one without having to um, without having to mess up when you go to redo it later. And without having to go back and retype it every single time. You don't want to do that either. So over here, that's what I did on mine. I went to this tab and I typed photos and art. And then I copied those two items with my lasso tool here. And then I uh, pasted those on all the pertinent pages. So wherever I go, I paste and I paste and I paste. And mainly I pasted it on the months, um, the front page for the month. And then I pasted it on all of the extra papers because I figure I'm going to use those to fill in my other page, my sections with, and I'm going to want to make sure all my papers are colored or coordinated. That way when I click on one, it still goes to where I need it to go. And so when you go in here to my art tab and you click to the side, you can see the, the tabs are already labeled and they're both uh, there. And all I did was pick the scrapbook, the, uh, the watercolor paper here to stick my drawings on. So, like I said, you have a choice. You can put whatever you want behind it um, on these two tabs. Make them whatever you want them to be. The blank papers are all here. And if you just keep flipping this way, you can get to them. But, like I said, the easiest thing is just to click on this, go to your index, and go wherever you want to go. I also had it left a place here where I named my... Um, named those tabs what they are. So in this case, oops, I guess it would help to turn the pen back on. I decided this was going to be doodles on this particular book. And, and, and on the other book, I actually put photos and uh, art as my two tabs here. So, but you could also go in here to this, this main, to my own ideas option. And um, we could go there. And then from here, you could design your own page layout. So if you don't like the page layouts that I have... You could put your own and, you know, maybe one that you've gotten as a freebie from somebody else, too. Um, that is a good option. And I know I have some. Let me go find something real quick. Um, I know that Karen shared these awesome Hob Hobonichi, Fobonichi, whatever they call them, um, pages. Which would be very fun to put on here. So uh, I'm not sure which I'm in exactly here, but let me look because my tablet's not getting the greatest signal sitting here. Nope, that wasn't what I was looking for. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, go back over here. Got in the wrong folder. No wonder. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go here. the bottom isn't it oh. okay so from here you could go to one of the hobo layouts that she's made and you could uh, decide that you wanted to add let me get it situated you might want to add this in here and then you may want to come in and add something else uh, on this other side so it could be oh my gosh all kinds of things um, other designer stuff is what I have under a lot of people so let me think who has boxes for layouts so from here I don't know maybe the paint dragger oops slow my my no signalness so I mean from right here I might paste this pain tracker in um, I do not remember who shared this thing but this is awesome so I could actually go in and write um, today particularly I have uh, back pain and I'm gonna say uh, 
right here. I mean, it's however you want it to, however you want it to work on it. This is just an idea, though. So, I mean, there there is an option that you can put whatever you want in this section. Um, and it might be fun just to put some simple blocks. I mean, um, let me see. Gosh, I wish my stuff would actually load where I could see. Always nice, always nice. Let's go in here. I did see in this kit. I have... I have some post-it notes in there. And so, I mean, I can always just go through and place post-it notes and and write, you know, notes to myself. And I don't know why I have this on brush pen. I really don't like brush pen, but anyway. So, there's that. And I mean, this is just an idea. So, these are blank pages. And this might be the way I decide I want to use all my pages. So, I want to save this page on the um, on here because that's going to be a layout that I really like and I'm going to use over and over and over and you know so I mean there's an option and or I could always just you know um, just save the stuff itself and then uh, redo that but anyway that's the uh, I'm just rambling <laughs> that's an option that we have um, as far as this particular planner goes um, I know, like I said, it has 376 pages on it. It's got so many options for paper, so many options for, like, for your weeklies and your dailies, however you want your, your months and weeks and days and such to go. Um, you can track individual things, track whatever it is that you like to track. Um, and, and, you know, you're not stuck with something that you're not happy with. And, of course, all of these links on this index tab work to everything else. Every page, doesn't matter where you are, always links back to the index page. Um, let's see, collections, and goes right back to the index. And then if I go to, like, the watercolor paper, and then I can always go back to the index. Anything I want to do, and I can go back to the index. So a lot of these things are listed all over the place in various things. Um, the paper, like I said, I did not list those few things, but there are some blank places on the paper mm -hmm. for you to put what you want. So maybe you just want to stick one of those particular ones in that hole, and that's what you're going to use that as for the rest of the time you use the binder. Um, anyway, it's up to you. So anyway, um, I, I try to go through and put um, on my personal binder... I go through here and pick on thumbnails of stuff that I know that I'm going to use a lot. So like the months themselves, I might go in and do a thumbnail, um, you know, like as a bookmark so I can get back to it easily or see it easily rather. And, um, oh, watch it. Anyhow, um, that's pretty much all the information that I have. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them best I can um, like I said that's the I showed you the quick and easy way to copy all this, the tabs and stuff and get them like you want them uh, with the least amount of work possible and if anybody else has any better suggestions let me know and I'll I'll uh, amend it <laughs> all right thank you you guys have a great day